Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to defend the sanctity of life. Today, the Supreme Court is hearing the case Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization. I'm glad the Supreme Court has decided to take up this important case in which they will consider whether all pre-viability bans on abortion are unconstitutional. Scientific advancements have rendered the viability standard established since Roe is outdated. Today we know the following. By 15 weeks, babies in the womb have a heartbeat. They have arms, legs, fingers, and toes. And they have fully developed hearts and can respond to light and touch almost anywhere else on their bodies. President Biden and my colleagues on the left have taken an anti-life stance and pushed policies that would require taxpayers to fund abortions. They also would require healthcare providers to perform abortions despite any moral objections that they may have and remove existing protections to allow abortions on demand no matter what the age of the fetus. This is wrong. The gentleman's time has I expired. I value unborn innocent lives and I will always push back with a clear and strong message and I yield back. Thank you.